Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Rogue Trader playthrough, blind playthrough on unfair difficulty. We traded in uh, the information with Omicron uh, um, 22 that gave us one profit factor. We're now uh, pretty okay, I would say. And we're visiting a new star system. One that is uncharted so far. And you know what they say about uncharted systems? In every uncharted system lies an opportunity. Let's find the one in here. Good, we need an extractum. That is a bit of a problem. Let me see if we could get one with a trading. I vaguely remember but we had trading options. Give me a sec. Well, the unfortunate news is we can't. Not without many, many, many more uh, dollars of profit factor in our pocket. So we just got to remember we can maybe mine these things a little bit later. Xenotech would be great because that would improve our um, profit factor. All right, but we can land here and maybe we get some extraction. You never know. So, your lordship. Servitor mechanical parts produced are quite worrying, occasionally interrupted by clicking. Let's just double check, yep. That's almost correct. Okay. When rumors of Theodora von Valencius's appearance were spreading all over the ship, I saw many flashes of yellow. The barely noticeable words are shaky underwriting, touch the darkness and the darkness will accept you. Well, I don't think... Um, I don't think that we would... No, no, step back from uh, the pit. And that's not what we want to do. Alright, calf patterns. The surfeit bears the mark of a de uh, determined and protected effort. Someone made a dozen scratches, um, which chaotically intersect in different angles without any order or logic. I don't like the fact that we will need to touch darkness in order to get something here. Hmm. It has been several months since we arrived here and yet no closer to understanding of the local phenomenon. All that we are able to quite learn is literally the surface. The object does not reflect any uh, light or sound. Um, it is very much absorbs them. After uh, an extensive excavation we did ascertain at uh, least that the object is vast and goes deep beyond the planet's surface. However, any attempt to measure resulted in a loss of machinery or staff. Archaeological studies have uh, turned to be more productive. The findings have revealed an amalgamation of architectural uh, styles of various cultures of Xeno origin. Uh, origin. According to the boldest theory, the earliest of these structures date from the beginning of the 30th millennium, and all of them are without a doubt of religious nature. Analysis of uh, bas relief and remaining epigraphic texts show that the cult was formed around the object. For many centuries, Xenos, and subsequently humans, worshipped the or, um, object in exchange for certain boons. Undoubtedly, 
ima uh, imagined by primitive and corrupted minds. Hmm. Hmm. This is the very opposite of good. Is that all we can get here? I know, guys. Should we risk it? Should we touch the darkness? Uh, difficult decision. I really want to know what's happening. So let's do it. At the edge of your consciousness, you sense something slimy and intangible answering your invitation to contact. It seems uh, deep in your thought, tasting your emotion, surprise of curiosity envelops you, but these feelings are not your own. Um, try to dominate it. Oh, yeah. You feel your way into the barely tangible edges of the consciousness separated from yourself. Squeeze until you re reduce it to the side of a bed. The entirety trembles, trying to break free with its mental grasp, surprise, rage. After a while, the entity stabilizes, but the moment you loosen your grip, it escapes, leaving behind a piece of itself inside of your mind. What does that even mean? Champion of the Abyss? Okay. Plus two weapon skills. Uh, yeah, very interesting. I mean, we got coercion and plus five to coercion and plus two to weapon. It could be bad. Uh, worse, uh, we now have the champion of the abyss. Ha ha, And I somehow, of course, wonder. The guy that needs weapon skill. Can't do anything. No. Okay, well. We played with fire. We did not burn ourselves. And apparently that was pretty much all there was to gain on this planet. Hmm. Well, not all of the explorations are like vast massive planets right so from time to time you're just getting the little smaller stuff got an anomaly but didn't get the uh, to the xeno uh, stuff Good, and unfortunately, the ocean world really doesn't give us anything else. Um, hmm. I think what we're going to do is we're doing that ship fight and then we're going into the next uh, sector. A report shows up as a personal cogator screen. Unknown ships are towing the interstellar sextons, cargo, uh, cargo ship belonging to one of uh, Footfall's wealthiest traders. All right attack the pirates as soon as you see them the ships charge into battle at once whilst the captive sequence powered up uh, its warp engine unless you interrupt the uh, proportion for the jump the cargo ship will follow and vanish beyond the veil of the immer um, immaterium along with all of the riches
Okay, I think that's another star battle that we're fighting. I like the star battles, they are very well done this will be exciting. for kind of a mini game. Oh, wow. We say four, whatever that means. Can we put everything that we do have on to the, what is it, left side? Yep. And then no one has taken damage, so we're just going to leave them be. Very nice, we got our shields correctly set up. Okay, we want to make a U-turn. Let the incandescent beam scorch our enemies. Hit that destroyer. And can we do that, please? And a little bit of front shields would be good. These guys take damage, but are down to two hit points. That's not good enough. Okay, so in terms of ramming, almost, almost. Unleash torment. Okay. And okay. Okay, that's a good maneuver. Let's position ourselves here. Macro cannons annihilate. That's a kill. Got this. Guide us. Uh, we are supporting the right shield and are reloading our shields. Unfortunately, can't yet do much with the interstellar Saxton. Oh, wow. Lots of damage, but luckily we got the shields on the right side. Pointsmen, find your courage. A 
Good, we're hitting from behind, uh, we're uh, protecting from behind, and we need to get that interstellar sex in the next round. Burn in the fires of retribution! Listen, I think. Our technological superiority yeah. was obvious. Uh, I'm not sure if we could have done much, much better. We got a nice little upgrade overall. Let's upgrade our hull a little bit further. More hit points are always good. Haven't rammed anyone ever, so uh, that's somehow not working very well. The rest was actually okay. Hmm. I wonder. Potentially, would we would have gotten a bit more ship supplies, but then again, the most ship supplies won't help you if you are dead. Good, let's make that route safe. And I think that this is one of the first planets where we actually need to be. Wow, so many new planets and we only got one navigator's inside. Okay. Let's visit the Telechius Epsilon. I think this is where one of our planets is located. Lord Captain, according to the telemetry, the parameters of the system match the uh, Telechius Epsilon, the homeworld of agriculture, Janus. Yep, and we had a quest there, uh, which is already belonging to us. We have received a Vox message from the planet. The Agri World's governor is officially welcomes the rogue trader and reports that she has begun preparations for formal reception to celebrate the arrival of the planet sovereign your uh, subjects are looking forward for your visit uh, for your visit okay cool beginning the scan of this planet uh, i wanted i would like to have a little bit more of uh, these resource generators Okay, beginning scan of an ice world, or the uh, a granite. Oh, flat steel. Yeah, I can already see that. I need to backtrack and place little little beacons everywhere, and that looks like a fabulous, fabulous uh, resort. Before we are, we're going there, let's just double check one thing because I haven't really checked with our colonies Lord Captain there is a conflict between the followers of the Order of the Hammer and the refugees of Winterscale Dynasty Domain an argument broke out near the tomb of the ancient um, Kiev uh, and the tomb was damaged the pilgrim uh, re referred Kiev's ritual 
claim that Kiev to be a thief that has stolen the relics of the Saint Cognius and disturbed the sacrament of his resting place. The Order of the Hammer is furious uh, at the heretical statements. Let them bring forth their representatives and negotiate uh, some form of coexistence. It shall be done, Lord Captain. Putting forth two dozen wise men from each side, the cults have sought to find a common interpretation of the way of St. Cognias. They may uh, not have achieved dogmatic unity, but they at least managed to find a way to coexist in the same world. More than we can say about our world uh, for, um, uh, for the current time. So we got a nice little profit factor upgrade, we got holy gifts, and we got the big flamer with a flaming stream. Love it. That's a lot of damage. I think we need to double check who uh, is going to receive that flamer. All right. Um, touched by holiness. Rewards complacency. And this would be more profit factor. Nah. Dogmatic. Player character gains benevolent protector feature. All allies increase their wounds by... Ooh. Ooh. That's a pretty decent uh, feature. Oh, and we can only take one. I see. Every rank we can only take one. Profit factor. Nah, we're taking more hit points, like... That kind of goes absolutely without saying. We're getting our rear handed so heavily to us that of course we're going to take more wounds. Every single fight that I've been in, I had a situation where I, th uh, where I thought, oh my gosh, so much damage. And we had many, many calls with like one hit point or two hit points. And that can't just be coincidence. So we're going to definitely take more wounds. But now, let's arrive at Janus. Will it be the classical we arrive and things are not, not okay? A lavishly dressed noblewoman in opulent silk growth watches you with an expected air. Uh, the gracefully bows in her hair, gem encrusted implants uh, pursued from her arms and neck. I welcome you on behalf of the noble house. My name is Vistenza Janos Viat Ab Aram of Koronus. Uh, by the grace of the Empire uh, and rogue trader Theodora from Valencia, I serve as the planetary governor. And greetings to you, new version. Uh, it is good to see uh, to, uh, a good sign when a rogue trader, Seneschal, does not visit a subject plan for a long time. Isn't that correct? It means the governor is taking good care of the manners. In truth, uh, your arrival in this place uh, of the esteemed lady von Velasius is quite unexpected. Theodora von Velasius is dead. I am now the head of the dynasty. Such tragic news! I will see to the planet observe a month of mourning. Oh, and the trope continues, dudes. The trope continues. There is not one time when we're arriving at a planet where things are actually fine. No, it is not. And in a classical fashion, this time. Uh, we have been ambushed. Coolio. Coolio. 
backline sits here. Front line sits over there. And we're good for now. So, moving to here. Oh, there are even three. Well, that doesn't matter. I think, without a shadow of a doubt, better shooting is in everybody's interest. Nice little hit there. And that servant takes a little bit more damage. Uh, we should have maybe used... Uh, Defenses Burst pistol All right Argenta moves heals gives herself Nice little support And then, ah, oh, that uh, servant is almost dead. Well, we are at almost uh, enough, uh, almost enough versatility is what I was looking for. Um, hmm. Good. Me? For one point, just dealing damage, and that is fantastic. Saiken gets a bit of the healing. Me? And Argenta, you I need you to continue your rampage here, please. Fabulous. I'll do it. Solidly killed this guy. Heinrichs moves over here. Everybody gets the word of the Emperor. We're giving ourselves Iron Arm. And that, that's an okay uh, chance to hit. Apparently not okay enough. Saiken tries to hit the Servant. Misses. Uses magic in order to rectify what hasn't been working. And forces the servant to come up. Abelard. That, that. Victory is imminent. That. A little bit of bracing. And a good hit. Pascal does a bit of that and a bit of this and we are moving the aggression zone to over here.
<laughs> Alright, Argenta. Kill. Well, we're still in it. And uh, we're in it to win it. Couple of good hits. He uh, throws a poisonous smoke grenade uh, just for his friend to then move in and essentially eat the whole poison himself. <laughs> that is stupid. Ouch. The little stair. Unfortunately, we can't get rid of that. So I can get healing. Um. Continuing to little stair. And we're buffing our DPS. Saiken definitely heals himself. Because, uh, fuck that. Good shot. Good. Abelard moves right into the middle because he does not, and I mean, not give a shit about any of them. Nice little brutal strike. That was a very, very solid hit. Ouch. Move up. Heal Heinrichs. Oh, that's a good one. Moving to here. And let's go. Good hit. Fantastic hits. Very well done. Ouch. Okay. 
Okay, Whew. that was close. Heal Saiken and... Hmm. Supposingly give him an extra turn, because why not? He'll use that in order to heal Pascal. Heinrich finally succumbs to the wounds. That's unfortunate. Very nice. Good, Psyche just cleans house, man. Avalar does what he does best. Gets the attention of all of these guys. That would be good, but I think this year actually would be better. Moving up. We need to deal with the snipers. And this Ripper Rebel is also a problem. Needs a lot of damage. Good. Shot. Another shot. Another shot. And another shot. <laughs> Four shots. Oh yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Argenta. Cassia moves up. Gets the sniper out of cover. I like that. Helps Abelard. And that's pretty much it. Moves to here. Hit. And mind control this guy so that he continues to get out of cover. Avalard needs to heal himself. He's taking quite a bit of damage. But still stays more or less strong. And parries a bit. Which I appreciate. Pascal kills. 
Um, we're shifting the killing over to here. That guy is being spotted out. Damage reduction. Reduce our own damage and... Yeah. Spot, uh, spot out as many of the others as possible. Shot, reload, shot, and another shot, and wow, that sharpshooter went from 200-ish hit points all the way down to almost none. Okay, I like that. Moves to here. Gone. <laughs> I skipped a turn. Stupid me. Try the tactics are the best ones. Very good. Victory is imminent. Sharpshooter. Okay, the rebels started out uh, pretty weak and then became gradually monstrously strong. Luckily, the longer the combat goes on, the better for us. Estate Warden, your Lordship, Emperor preserves us. Are you alright? Do not fray, layperson. We have grown used to these outrageous sloviness amongst the Wardens of every world we visit. Uh, pay a grayness. What is happening? I'm fine. I can't say that for the attackers. Praise the throne. If you would please follow me, I would personally escort you to the governor within the protections. Um, I'll find my own way, thank you. So far the competency of the team here hasn't been extremely high. I still manufactured swords and the stun grenades are nice as well. Good. The one thing that I'm worried about is our supply of med kits. Because as it seems, there is no like permanent vendor where you can just buy them. And so far, not a single combat has gone by without us continuously needing them. And the biomancy, on the other hand, hasn't really helped us to heal. Not in a matter that is really w worth our time. 
I mean, seven hit points. No offense against against anything, but that's not really very helpful for us. That's barely a scratch at best. Granted, there are a couple of self-healing capabilities, but we need to find better ways to heal other than other than that. Plenty of estate wardens, wonderful. I wonder where all of you guys have been in the fight that just happened. I really wonder wh where uh, they have been. They certainly haven't been at the site of their uh, superiors. They certainly haven't been at the side of their superiors. Alright, let's, let's explore this area and then I think it's also a good time for a break. Good, we're getting a couple of medkits here and there, which is helpful. I'm sure over time we're going to get more med kits as well. I know for a fact I've seen it with one of the merchants that there is another tier where you are getting like ten big med kits, the red ones. And sure, a little bit later down the road, you'll get even more of those. Alright, forgive me for so boldly stealing you away from the others, it's just I simply wish to spend a brief moment admiring the breathtaking nature of this place. Within the station walls, I could never stop and do anything like that. Move closer to Kazia and silently enjoy the view. This place is his soul, wouldn't you agree? Alright, she's enjoying the water. I get it, if you're actually being born on a, a space station, then of course this here is like super new. And water on the feet is very comfortable. If you've ever been at a pleasant beach, warm water, hmm, that's, a, that's a good one. The game is encapsulating that nicely. All right, it's time for us to be on our way. Oh, there are goods, by the way. Okay, is there anything else that we have forgotten? A couple more goods here and there. But other than that, I think the answer is we're uh, pretty much through. It's a cool planet. I like it. Of course, in typical Rogue Trader fashion, uh, you're arriving at a planet and every single planet is quasi-hostile because some low-life scum is going to attack you. But this is a good moment for us to appreciate uh, the end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed your time. Uh, if you like Janice, uh, then give it a thumbs up uh, and uh, see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.